I'd like to read from the Word of God talking about Israel. Genesis chapter 12, verse 2. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse and all the peoples on earth will be a blessing through you. The U.S. right now is not blessing Israel when they abstain in the U.N. Security Council demanding a ceasefire by Israel to let them not defend themselves against murderous terrorists. And the U.S. is not doing anything else to prevent the wrath of God right now either. The nations have voted against Israel. No one supports Israel. We were their best ally, and now we're not doing what we should be to support them. Another, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 14, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for season, for days and for years. So he did put the stars to give us signs of things to come. Everything in the sky is not just um, random or an accident or anything like that. On April 8th, we will have a total eclipse coming to America. Combined with the last one, the path of these eclipses form an X over the map of the United States. The Bible said the stars are for signs. I'm not talking about astrology, which is condemned in the Bible. So what does this eclipse mean? I don't know. But America has certainly earned the wrath of God. You think about the falling away, which I recently did a video on that. Falling away of the faith. America clinging to abortion. And now the abandonment of Israel. Prophecy tells us that all nations will ab abandon Israel and Israel will never, but Israel will never cease from being a nation. I can see now we're, we're heading to the path for abandoning Israel for the sake of some minor political cause. We are in the last days, folks, and wrath is coming. But I believe the Christians will not be here to face this wrath. You can check out all my other videos on it. And I can just tell you right now, if I was you, become a Christian, avoid the wrath, find out about it, don't be ignorant, get your head out of the dirt, pay attention to what's going on, you will be held responsible sooner than you think.